In the previous lecture, we calculated the digit at unit place with the help of cyclicities of digit 0, 1, 5 and 6. And now, in this lecture, we are going to find out the digit at unit place with the help of cyclicities of digit 4 and 9. The cyclicity of digit 4 is 4, 6 and the cyclicity of digit 9 is 9, 1. Now, when we focus on cyclicity of digit 4, we can see that for the increasing power of 4, we are getting 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6 and so on as the unit digit. And from this, we can say that whenever the power of 4 is odd, like here we have power equal to 1, which is odd. And here also the power is odd, which is 3. The digit at unit place is equal to 4. Similarly, when we focus on the even powers, we can see that the unit digit is equal to 6. So, from this understanding, we can say that if 4 is the unit digit of number n, then the unit digit of number n raised to power n will be 4 if n is odd and the unit digit will be 6 if n is even. So I hope this point is clear to you. Now we will see one example to understand this better. Let's say we have a number 694 and this number is having the power equal to 217. Now we are required to find out the digit at unit place of this. We can see that number 694 has 4 at its unit place and therefore we can use this rule to find out the digit at unit place of this power. Following the rule, we know when n, which is 217 in this case, is odd, the digit at unit place is going to be 4. 217 is definitely odd and therefore 694 raised to power 217 will have 4 at its unit place. Now let's say if we have 694 raised to power 218 then in this case the digit at unit place will be equal to 6 because n which is 218 is even. So we will have 6 at the unit place of this power. So we are done with 4 and now we will move on to the cyclicity of digit 9. For the increasing powers of 9, we have 9, 1, 9, 1, 9, 1 and so on at the unit place. And when we have odd powers, we will get 9 as the unit digit. Similarly, when we have even powers, we will get 1 as the unit digit. So we can say that if 9 is the unit digit of number n, then the unit digit of n raised to power n will be 9 if n is odd and it will be 1 if n is even. Now we will see one example. Let's say we have 199 raised to power 90. And we are required to find out the digit at unit place of this power. Number 199 has 9 at its unit place. And therefore, we can use this rule to find out the digit at unit place of this power. For this, we need to focus on power we have. 90 is even. And we know when we have even power, the digit at unit place will be equal to 1. So this will have 1 at the unit place. Similarly, if we have 199 raised to power 91, then this will have 9 at the unit place because 91 is odd and when we have odd power, 9 is the digit at unit place. So I hope you now understand how we can use the cyclicity of digit 9 to find out the unit digit. Now before we end this lecture, let's see one example problem. 
In this example, we are required to find out the unit place of 44 raised to power 68 minus 234 raised to power 27 multiplied with 129 raised to power 31. And like we did in the previous lecture, we are going to find out the digit at unit place for the three powers we have independently. So shifting our focus on 44 raised to power 68, 4 is there at the unit place of number 44. This means we are going to use this rule. The power is 68. This means the power is even. When we have even power, 6 is going to be the digit at unit place. Let's now move on to 234 raised to power 27. Again, we have 4 at the unit place. This means we are going to use the same rule. Power 27 is odd. This means 4 is going to be at the unit place of this. And finally, we will have 129 raised to power 31. We have 9 at the unit place. This means we will use this rule. The power here is 31. 31 is odd and therefore we will have 9 at the unit place. After this, we will multiply 4 and 9 and then the result will be subtracted by 6. 4 multiplied to 9 will give us 36 and 6 minus 36 is equal to minus 30. So we will get minus 30 as the result. And this means we are going to have 0 at the unit place. So 0 is our answer. So I hope you now understand the use of cyclicity of 4 and the cyclicity of 9 while calculating for the unit digit. In the next lecture, we will focus on the use of the cyclicities of digit 2, 3, 7 and 8. So this is all for this lecture. I will end it here and I will see you in the next one.